All right, let's talk about the homunculus. What the hell is that? It's what an artist created, essentially, to help us understand conceptually by being able to see how much of our brain is for sensory information and motor information. That's why these two areas are super, super important. The, the parietal lobe and the frontal lobe, where they meet in the central fissure of our brain, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you right here, is right here in the center of our brain. So this is the frontal lobe we just talked about. This is the parietal lobe that we just talked about. And they meet right here in this central fissure, right? The front half, the frontal lobe portion of that is the motor cortex, the primary motor cortex. The back half is the somatosensory cortex. This half is primarily involved in our movement and sending signals out, efferent signals out to get us to move. And the somatosensory is afferent signals coming to it to inform what motor movements we should make and what we should do. There's so much focus on these areas because they, they determine so much of what our human behavior is. So much so that there's been a ton of research on these specific areas of our brain. And they're, they're at a higher portion, an easier place to, like we can access them. So we can map them, and we have. So when you map these two areas, you can see right here, the motor cortex and the sensory cortex, you can see that we've literally mapped the jaw, the face, the eye, um, the neck, the thumb, these different areas to specific portions in or on these areas. What's represented here, like the hands, right? The hands are huge in comparison to, say, the tongue because so many more neurons are responsible for our hands. We have to have so many nerve fibers coming to our hands so we can feel things and so many nerve fibers coming to our hands so we can move and manipulate things. And there's a feedback. So it's visually represented as larger because more neurons are dedicated to it. This depiction or this mapping of these two portions of our brain has led some others to create a homunculus human. So this is what a human would look like if we were, if, if you map the ratio of nerves to our hands and to our feet and all the different areas of our brain. This is what we'd look like. It's kind of a funny picture, but this is it. <laughs> right? So you can tell that our sensory organs are like our hands where we feel things, right? Our eyes, our ears, our tongue and our mouth, right? Those are all very, they're huge, right? And this is why they are represented just like in this picture, the hands are represented as bigger, right? That's what they're doing with this. Like they're making a human and this is called the homunculus. This is what, it, 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 just search it, Google search it and you'll find tons of them. Uh, but this is the homunculus human um, and it's a really, really easy way to kind of remember your primary motor cortex and your sensory cortex. Let's dive back in. We're going to talk about the occipital lobe next.